Deke is a great convert to uh, social prescribing. He's passionate about it. For his health inequality strategy, one of his key five showcase commitment is going to be about rolling social prescribing out to all Londoners. So when we talk to Sadiq now about yeah, his uh, planning policy, it's not just about roads and houses. He said, OK, well, what can I do about health in planning? So he's bringing a new law that you cannot build or open a new fast food outlet within 400 metres of a school in London. His transport plan isn't anymore about buses and trains. It's about walking and cycling, about health. His approach to violent crime isn't just about yeah, the, the police services, it's about a public health approach to violence reduction. Again, recognising the wider role health has in the community. His health inequality strategy launched recently five main areas, healthy places, air pollution, removing d diesel cars in London, mental health, mental health first aid, hopefully in every school in London, a new early years health programme, every single childminder, nursery, one o'clock in London, one o'clock school in London, having an early years programme. Childhood obesity, and the fifth main one, social prescribing. Can we ensure that every single Londoner has access to social prescribing? And this isn't going to be just a one-year plan. This is his 10-year plan till 2028 to make sure every single mayor, which hopefully will be him, will inherit this plan for the next 10 years. We will hear many a time how social prescribing benefits general practice, reduce attendances, benefits A&E, reduce usage, but it also benefits its community. The ability to strengthen your community and volunteering network by embracing social prescribing is vivid. The first big social uh, prescribing conference was held at City Hall in London. If we need a London-wide approach, he will facilitate that. He will use his GLA family, the arts and culture, green spaces, sports, voluntary sector to assist. The mapping in London has already taken place. 25 out of 33 boroughs in London have social prescribing. We already have a regional social prescribing network. We've had our London citywide conference. And we've already got, at the last count, I'm sure it's higher now, 146 link workers and 177 volunteers working on the programme. Our London-wide strategy will have three main focuses. Provision for all, easy access, and local where possible. We will have four work streams within that strategy. The first one about workforce, being very aware that we need to have a workforce to deliver social prescribing, and that is based upon link workers. And can we have an accreditation system which works easily across London to make sure we're able to improve and increase volunteering both into social prescribing and to receive social prescribing referrals, and to make sure also the wider NHS and social care workforce understand and use social prescribing. Second area we'll focus on is welfare and legal advice. We're aware in London that's a big area, a big gap. So we're working with the legal uh, foundation, which will help us spread access to welfare and legal advice in London and hopefully in a healthcare setting. Third area is digital, not to, to support the link workers, to make sure the director of services is as vivid and live as possible to make sure any issues regarding governance we can sort out on a London-wide basis. And the fourth one is evaluation. We have not, so we're not settled on the why, we're now how, but we will need to continually evaluate what we do. Sadiq is a passionate convert and exponent of social prescribing. He wishes to support this and see the mayor behind this for the next 10 years as a minimum. His desire is to see every single Londoner have access to social prescribing. Thank you.